Rick off here. Welcome to video number 17 of Rick's Pipe Dream Magnetic Motor Generator Project Series. As you can see, I've completed my flywheel. It's uh, not really perfect yet because uh, there is a little bit of run out and that's to be expected. Uh, I'll have to address that before I can balance the flywheel. So, um, there will be a couple of negative effects, the run out and the balance uh, when I do the spin demonstration. But I wanted to set it up at this angle to show you that um, you get a better view of this way of the flywheel. And uh, also I wanted to demonstrate how this stand can be used in an upright position. And uh, this might be particularly useful to uh, some people who uh, may be working on other projects. This is a multi-use stand. Uh, it can be used uh, many different ways. And um, it can be stood up five different ways. So. Uh, let me just give this a little bit of a spin. You can probably see the, um, that there is a certain amount of run out. Not, it's not tremendous, but there, there is a small amount of run out. And of course that will affect balance uh, because the wood will be heavier at some location than it is somewhere else. Okay. Now I, I made this out of three quarter inch birch plywood and it's four inches wide and two inches of that uh, is extended beyond the wheel rim okay there's a two inch overhang on of the wheel rim okay I'll, i think i'll get right on, on with the um, spin demonstrations now we'll see how that's going to work hopefully i'll get some positive results now before I do get to the spin operation, I'm turning the machine around backwards. You see the back view now, uh, which would be the bottom view if it's uh, mounted horizontally as I normally use the wheel. Um, you can see that this platform would offer a nice area for anyone conducting um, some experiments in uh, a mechanical wheel. Uh, so, this, like I say, this is an excellent test platform for multiple uses. Uh, you might notice that the wheel is oscillating back and forth. Uh, it's rotating one way and then the other. This has nothing to do with the magnetics. Uh, this is simply a, a function of imbalance, you see. Um, if it were perfectly balanced, it would continue to spin in the same direction. It's uh, seeking the heavy point, and the heavy point would end up at the bottom of the wheel once it stops rocking. Um, so, you know, later on that'll be a good method of uh, setting the balance and testing it. Uh, if the wheel is heaviest at the bottom point, and I know where that is, I can place a, um, a weight at the top of the wheel, you know, at the opposite point across the diameter to uh, stabilize that and take out that imperfection of balance. So, without any further ado, I think I'll set this up horizontally. I'll pause the camera a moment, set it up horizontally, and then we'll continue with the spin. Okay, back to horizontal now. Um, this flywheel, um, is, it's actually made out of three sections of plywood and that I've pieced together. And I, I weighed the uh, wood pieces and it, it sums up to 3 pounds, 12 ounces. So that's 3 and 3 quarters pounds overall. Okay, and um, I think that this added heft 
is going to play an important part in the uh, rotations of the magnetic motor uh, because it's going to give it uh, some inertial momentum, you see, and uh, this will help smooth out the uh, rotations and um, I, I think it's really going to work well, especially once I do get it uh, set up properly and balanced. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to get right on with the spin demonstration. First I'm going to start with the uh, demonstration similar to what was seen in video 15 where I used the um, setting of the uh, stator arm at the highest point of adjustment and uh, let's see I can't remember exactly what that was I think it was one and three quarters inches pretty sure and um, this uh, affords a weaker rotation than uh, would happen at the at a lower setting with a closer gap to the rotor but uh, I wanted to see I wanted to test first and, and see if uh, adding the flywheel has somehow affected uh, the spin negatively uh, when at this high setting because it is a weaker setting so I'm going to do that first now I've changed the camera angle somewhat and uh, added some more light so you have a better view. Uh, I, I wanted to try and avoid getting in between the camera and the, uh, and the wheel as I did in video 16. Sorry about uh, blocking your view there on part of that while I was taking the uh, digital readout on the tachometer. Uh, I'll try and avoid that this time. Uh, uh, for this first spin, I'm not even going to bother with the tachometer. Uh, this is a weaker spin and uh, doesn't really have any bearing. I just wanted to see if it will spin. Uh, you know, it's going, I, I believe that it's going to be tougher to spin this wheel because it's heavier now. Uh, so I want to see if the uh, weaker forces at the higher height of the stator arm are going to um, still be enough to spin it. So I'll get right on with that right now. I'll set the uh, north of the stator uh, so it's over the um, south of the flywheel. And uh, when I let go of this, I'm going to bring my hand off this way. That's just to show you that uh, I'm not spinning the wheel with my hand. Any movement you see now is going to be the um, Start drawing the group in. And there it goes. Yes, it does spin. It probably does uh, take longer to, to get the spin started with the extra weight. But once it's moving, then you have uh, momentum. Okay. I'm not even paying attention to my timing here, and I'm messing it all up. But um, <laughs> that little carried away there talking, and I lost track of what I was doing. And yeah, it's starting to pick up a little speed now. But I still don't have the timing in the right places. You know, it's, it's already it's already a blur to me. My eyes are pretty bad. Sorry. Nothing much I can do about that. I'm going to swing that stator arm out of the way, uh, tighten it up just a bit, and uh, let me stop that wheel. And we'll proceed to the next demo. I'm going to have to let the uh, stator arm down, so. I'll pause the camera while I do that. I've shown you before how I do that, so no need to do that again. I see that we're up to uh, about 20 seconds left on this video uh, for the time limit. So uh, there's no point in doing the uh, other spin test at this time. I'm going to uh, proceed on to the next video for that. Thanks for watching. 
and I hope to see you at the next video. Bye now.